Kia ora everyone, it's Nathan Rose from Intergen again, and this is my third video in my series on power effects in model-driven apps, which is a preview feature that's available from Microsoft and allows you to create custom commands using power effects formulas in model-driven apps. This is something that heretofore has only been available in Canvas apps and is an absolute game changer for those of us who work with power uh, power apps, specifically model-driven apps, on a daily basis. So as you'll recall, over the last few weeks, if you've seen my videos, I've shown you how you can use PowerFX to automate business processes and delight end users. What I'm going to show you tonight is what I describe as the cherry on top of PowerFX in model-driven apps. Specifically, I'm going to show you how you can add custom icons to your ribbon commands to visually cue the user as to the button's purpose. And secondly, I'm going to show you how you can set custom visibility properties on the command button to show it or hide it based on attributes on the record that the user's working on. I don't know about you, but I personally find it very frustrating when I'm being offered buttons that I'm unable to use based on choices that I've made on the record that I'm working on. So this is a way that you can just further delight your users and make their make their experience in the app a joy. Okay, so let's pop into the Power Apps Maker portal and we're going to go into the preview model driven app editor and into the command driven editor. You can see that we've got our command ribbon for the contact available to us here. We've got our custom button and we've got an icon in it. And when we come over here to the properties for this custom button in the right hand side, we've got a few options for icon. When we create the button, the default setting is no icon. There's another option that allows us to reuse some of the out of the box icons that are in the system. These are things like email, refresh, new, save, etc or we can add a web resource with a custom icon, which is what I've done here. The way you create those is you just add an SVG image to a web resource. If you've ever created custom icons for custom tables in a model-driven app, it works exactly the same way. I personally use Syncfusion Metro Studio to do that, and so that's how I created this Google, Google icon in the ribbon. So the next thing we'll move on to is custom visibility properties, and that's available down here in our button properties. And when we click on the drop down, you can see that the default option is to show this button in the ribbon at all times. However, there's another option here called show on condition from formula. And what this does is this allows us to add a custom power effects formula to show or hide this button based on what's going on in the system at the time. So specifically within the context of the contact record, I wanna show this button when my Google search complete field is equal to no, but when that field's equal to yes, I wanna hide it because I don't want users to be performing multiple Google searches on the contact. And so once we choose this visibility option, when we come up to our formula bar, we can see that we've got a visible attribute that's added. If you've worked with Canvas apps previously, this should look very familiar to you. And this is our visibility formula that we've added in for the button. And so this is just an if statement. And what it's doing is saying, if this Google search field complete is no, show the button, otherwise hide it. And as you may recall, self.selected.item is how we denote in PowerFX this record that I'm working on right now. Okay, so let's see this in action. We'll go into our model-driven app, and you can see that on the contact record, we've got this custom button in our ribbon, and Google search complete is equal to no. When we go and change this to yes and save the record, you can see the button disappears. And when we change it back to no, it comes back again. So that's our visibility formula at work. 
So let's go ahead and select the button. And as expected, it's going to pass the full name to the Google search results. When we come back to our record in the model driven app, we can see that Google search complete has changed from no to yes. But when we look in the ribbon, we can see that this button's still here. What's going on? What I've discovered is that you need to actually manually refresh the record for these ribbon command visibility formulas to take effect once you've selected the button. So um, at the moment, there's no way to use a PowerFX formula to force a refresh of, of the ribbon. I've tried a few different, few different methods and haven't been able to successfully do that. If you did want to absolutely hide this button based on based on fields changing, you'd need to use a JavaScript resource in on your form. However, in the meantime, this is still a really compelling feature that's available from Microsoft. However, if there's any product managers from Microsoft watching, I would love to see a PowerFX command that allows me to force this ribbon to refresh when I select my custom button. So that's a quick overview of how you can add custom custom icons to your custom PowerFX commands in a model-driven app and how you can set custom visibility properties on them. Thanks so much for watching. I hope it was helpful.